I'm sure you're looking at this beautiful jacket and you're like, oh, I want it. It is so beautiful. So today I'm going to teach you how you can make one for yourself. You're going to need your basic dress pattern for this project. So for the back leg width, I used three and a half inches. And for the neck depth, I used one inch. For the front neck width, I used 3.5 inches. For the neck depth, I used 3.5 inches as well. Now on my pattern, I'm going to start marking one inch apart. Okay, starting from the center front. Right, so my pattern is already on fold. So on each side, I'm going to start marking one inch apart or, or 1.5 to 2 inches, depending on the spacing you want for this your basket design. Okay, so for the front i don't want mine to be so spacious i want to do it one one inch apart all right so i'm going to mark vertical lines along the length of my fabric or the length of my pattern paper and the width or the spacing of these lines is going to be one inch apart so i'll just go and roll it all around okay making sure that i am ruling it on one inch okay you don't want it to be wider now it depends on what you want actually you can actually make yours the spacing to be 1.5 or 2 inches depending on how wide you want the spacing in between to be So afterwards, from the hemline, I added half inch hemming allowance to this dress. So before that hemming allowance, I'm going to start marking 1.5 inches upwards. Now it also depends on the size you want. You can stick to the 1 inch we used earlier, but I want to use 1.5. So between 1 inch, 1.5 and 2 inches is okay for this project. So I'm going to go ahead and mark 1.5 all the way from the bottom of the dress to the top. So you're going to do this to the other side of the front and do the same thing to the back. So this is the back. You can see. So I'm going to open it up so you'd see what it looks like. So all around the back, I have one inch apart for the vertical lines. And for the horizontal lines, I have 1.5 inches apart. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You have to take your time and gently draw out this line. So for more visibility, you can use a marker. Now, I did the same thing to the front, okay? So when I finish with one side, I turn to the other side and did exactly the same thing before I open the top, okay? Now, because it's a kimono jacket, there's going to be a slit in front. So I'm going to fold it back. I will not cut the neckline for the front yet till I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and open up or slash the center front of the jacket this is a jacket so it's a kimono jacket so the front just has to be open right so i'm just going to slit through the front now for my fabric i folded my fabric just in i have three yards of fabric okay so i just folded it then i marked two inches apart okay so all of these lines you're seeing are two inches apart so i'm just going to go ahead and cut or slice through this line so if i if i measure you can see it is just two inches okay so i cut out the starting point then cut through the lines like i said two inches for the width of my strips okay so these are the strips i'm going to be using to make this basket um jacket i'm using two different fabrics so this one is two yards then the other fabric i have is also two yards so i just fold it like so then mark two inches across the entire length of the dress then cut out so yeah, the width of each strip okay how long each strip is going to be is two yards so if you folded four yards it also means that how long each strip is going to be is four yards okay so because i'm using two different prints i'm going to have two two yards of each strip okay so that that way i can combine the two fabrics together and it's going to still come out really really beautiful all right so i'm done cutting out the strips you can see what they look like now to the sewing machine i'm going to start sewing you can see i've already made my line so for the strips you're going to get your strips fold half inch towards the right fold half inch towards the left then fold it together 
all right so just place it you're not going to start from the edge start from the second line so just place it on the line and so across okay so all true so fold half in towards the left half in towards the right fold it back together then you're going to start sewing all right from top to bottom okay just or from wherever you're sewing from so you just go ahead take it to your um presser foot and so now you have to be careful where you're sewing this our template is a paper okay so what we're placing the strips on is paper so you need to be extremely careful at this point so that you don't repeat papers and i'm going to promise you there is no way um and maybe if you're so much if you're so careful but there was never there's never been a time that i tried this that i didn't have little cords on my pattern paper all right so you just have to be careful so that it doesn't cut so much and affect your work all right so after doing this i'm going to sew on the other side okay after placing the strip on it you sew on two sides okay the left and the right sides just so you secure it properly all right so i've sewn on one side so i am sewing on the other side all the way down all right so just like the way we sew body channels you know something like that so just so all true now this is the second fabric that i have i'll still fold half into the left half into the right and fold it back into two then place it on the second line you can see so place it like so half into the left to the right fold it back together place it on the other line then you go and sew like this and you sew all the way to the lower part. Now, while you're sewing, you can go ahead and be folding it as you're sewing, okay? Alternatively, you can go to your ironing table and iron this before sewing. But that takes a longer time. All right? So, just go fold as you sew. That way, it's easier. At the end of the day, you iron everything all together. And it still comes out fabulous. So you're going to repeat this process all through the length of the fabric for the left hand side of the front, the right hand side of the front, the back, and you're also going to do it vertically and horizontally. All right. So I'm, I've completed that. I could not put you through all the stress of watching the whole of this. So I just had to skip out of that process. So what you just do after sewing uh, vertically you still sew horizontally okay just using the strips like i have shown you All right so this is the bag i have limited fabric so i did not uh, make it as small as the front all right so the spacing for the back is two inches apart okay so i skipped some lines at the back basically that's what i did so right now we're going to tape the sides okay we're going to hem the bottom and also um, closing the sides okay so that you're not going to just have rough edges so from the wrong side you're going to start working from the wrong side so i'm going to get my uh, strip then i'll start sewing with half inch i want to hem the bottom of the dress now remember i said earlier that the same allowance or the hemming allowance i left for this dress was half inch so it is that half inch i am using to hem the bottom right so i've placed my strip on it and i'm sewing with half inch same allowance right so i'm not going to sew from all the way down right so after that take out your pattern from the sewing machine cut off the excess that you have and we're going to flip it back to the right side all right so flip it to the right side you're going to fold in make sure you trim out the excess first okay so you can have a, a space to work so fold in half inch first then fold it again all right just like the way you hem your necklines and your armhole with bias right so just fold with half inch and fold again Right, so take it to the presser foot or to your sewing machine, and so so that way we have hemmed the bottom of this dress, and this is just for the back. Now you're going to repeat this same process for the sides. Okay, so after doing this to the bottom of the dress, you're going to do the same thing to the side of the dress. So for the sides, same thing flip it to the back we're going to start working from the wrong side we're going to work from the wrong side so flip it to the back place your strip on it and still sew using half inch seam allowance right so sew all through the length of the dress when you're done flip it to the right side 
and still turn it just the way we turn um necklines with bias right so at the hem you want to still fold so that the hem is neat you can see what i did there okay so just fold the hem with the fabric so it's going to be neat so afterwards leave it flip it to the right side fold in half inch into two then you're going to stitch it all the way down so remember you're going to do this to the other side as well repeat the same process on the front pattern right you know the, the front was divided into two so you're going to hem the bottom of one side and also hem or uh, close up the sides do the same thing for the other one okay so it's basically what we're doing so from what you can see i have successfully folded the lower part and the side as well you can see so it's running the neckline and the armhole everything is successfully done you can see the side and the hem so this is for the two front patterns okay i've done the same thing it's just the neckline and the armhole so i'm going to place it together right side facing right side i want to trim off my neckline so i can still see the lines okay i can still see the markings for my neckline so i just go ahead and cut through for the neckline all right so i've done my shoulder slip already so i'll just go and trim out any excess that i may have there okay excess thread excess strips of fabric anything that you have there just go and trim it out all right so this is the front looking super beautiful so so beautiful now for the back i'm still going to trim out any excess i have you can see i have folded the edges and hemmed the bottom Right, so I'll still go ahead and fold it into two so that I can trim off any excesses I have along the neckline and the armhole. So already I have cut out the neckline for the back. So I'll just trim out any excess strips of fabric I would have around there. The same thing I'll do for the armhole. Okay, cut out your excess strips of fabric and not cut out your SS threads. Very, very important because this design is going to leave you with lots of SS threads. So you need to be very patient to cut them out. Right, so now that I'm done with this, I'm going to start joining. So I'm going to place the front on the back. Right sides um, facing right sides. And so the shoulder with half inch and allowance, like right, like I said earlier, when I was drafting, I added half inch seam allowance for the shoulder. All right, so just go ahead and join that with half inch seam allowance. Now, when you're done, you're going to trim off the seam allowance. We did it to like one eighth of an inch. Okay, you don't want to have any bulkiness at that area. So trim off the seam allowance to like one eighth of an inch. Then you're going to still flip it to the wrong side. Get your strip of fabric and you're going to tape it the same way we've taped the sides. Okay, so just get um a strip of fabric, fold in half inch to the left, half inch to the right, and fold it back together just like we did for all of these sides okay so i'm just going to place it on top of the shoulder line okay and top stitch on it you can see just place it on in at on it and top stitch right so right now i'm top stitching it so you just have to be careful make sure that you trim off the excess so that you don't have a bulky seam so that your needle will not have difficulties climbing through the bulkiness at that area so top stitch it and do the same thing for the other side okay so you're just going to get the other side of the front place it on the back you know right side facing right sides and join the shoulder with half inch trim of the excess and use your uh, strip of fabric to tape it down the next thing i've also done is to um pipe the neckline and the armhole with the same method i have shown us okay so i'm still going to i've piped one armhole and the neckline so i'm going to show you how you can pipe the armhole and the neckline okay using the other armhole so you can see this is the neckline very beautiful and i have piped one side of the armhole you can see that so this is the side i have piped it's looking neat already so i'm just going to go and pipe the other side so that you would see how to pipe both your neckline and your armhole for a project like this 
So from the wrong side, remember all of these things we are doing, we are doing them from the wrong side. So fold a little bit so that the edges would be neat. Fold your fabric a little bit, like half inch, fold it like half inch inwards, okay, so that the edges is going to be very neat. So just fold half inch inwards, then place it on the neck, the sorry, the armhole. I'm going to sew half inch around the armhole just with half inch. So just go ahead and sew it all around like this. So, guys, if you're watching till now, this is more than 15 minutes into this video. And if you think this video was helpful, like if you like it, if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. This is Noni Space. And here on this channel, we upload some tutorials. I do review products as well. And I upload some lifestyle videos. So if this is the type of content that you like, I plead with you, please consider subscribing. And when you're done subscribing, please, there's also a notification bell where you can click so that each time there's a video on this channel, you won't miss it, okay? You'll be notified that this channel has uploaded a video. And to my subscribers, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for subscribing. Even in um, my inconsistency, you guys have still been there. Thank you so much. I really, really, really appreciate you guys. I love you so much. May the good Lord bless you all. Like, God bless you all. Thank you for everything. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for sharing. Thank you so much. I appreciate I really appreciate. So when I get to the end, I will still fold in half inch so that the edges is going to be very neat. Then I would uh, do a reverse stitch or a back stitch to secure it. Cut out my excess threads, then flip everything back to the right side. Okay, so you're just going to be taking it one step at a time at this point because your paper might just be getting weak at this point because it has gone through hell. So I'm still going to fold half inch in what? Then fold in half inch again. You can see. So first fold half inch. I just like to notch out the excess at that point. So I don't have a thickness or a bulkiness at that area. So first fold in half inch and another half inch. Take it to the sewing machine. I am going to, you know, pipe the neckline. Sorry, armhole. <laughs> so you're going to pipe the armhole. So at this point, your paper has seen shege. As in, it has seen shege pro max. So you want to be gentle. All right, it is paper, it is super fragile, so and the needles pricking on it is just going to make it so big. So, we don't want it to get uh, very worn out when we are not done yet, so we just have to handle with care. So, this is the way I am piping the armhole, and this is the way I piped the other armhole, and the same way I piped the neckline. All right, so I'm just doing this one time you then use it to pipe your other neckline your other armhole and the neckline right so so at this juncture you're at five percent done you can see the front looking super beautiful guys like you're going to so much appreciate yourself when you get to this point because it's been a long journey okay so the next one is just to sew the sides okay now you're not going to start sewing like we sew our normal side you're just going to get one side overlap it on the other and sew all the way through so you're not going to uh, couple like we do our normal dresses and blouses just overlap on each other you can see just take one place it on the other and sew from the bottom of it to the top just like this okay place it and sew all the way down And guys, so we've come to the conclusion of this video. So, at the end, this is what we have. It is super duper beautiful. Time consuming, but all the time and stress, it's worth it. Okay, everything you have gone through while making this dress is worth it. So, if you like at this point, you can attach sleeves to it. I just want mine to be sleeveless. You can still touch my head one day and I'll add sleeves to it. You can see. So this is the back. A lot can't see at the back, but I still love it. The front is mind-blowing. I love the front, okay? So you can still make it, the back to be like the front. I just had 
and had shortage of fabric so and i didn't want to combine another fabric so it's not looking like a kamawiara like are you mad get that kind of vibes okay so that's why i did not combine any other fabric all right so what you're going to do is to pull out the paper but it something i like to do just i just like to soak it inside water i carry the whole dress like this bam inside water when it softens i just rub it like i'm washing okay just you know rub it like a washing and pick out the papers it's easier that way and safer so that you don't rip out some threads while pulling out the paper inside okay so i hope you love this video if you do please like it please share it and please subscribe 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 to the channel i love you guys so so much so till i come your way next time i remind your friend noni and i love you bye